USC and UCLA are joining the Big Ten in 2024, and shocked isn't even the right word. I'm not shocked, because we all knew that this was coming. As soon as Texas and Oklahoma decided to join the SEC, we knew that more moves would be made eventually. It felt like, for about a year, that everything was just going to remain calm for a little while, and instead, we get this. And I don't, I don't think it's done. Uh, I will say this is the end of that goofy alliance that we had been talking about for, I mean, a year, basically. Ever since Texas and Oklahoma decided to join the SEC, the Big, T- or Big Ten, the Pac-12, and the ACC had joined into this alliance. And they were a voting alliance, and all 41 member institutions had decided to align unanimously on voting and other things that they were going to work on. But nobody could ever really tell you exactly what that was. It wasn't a scheduling alliance. George Klyovkov came off, or came out a couple of weeks ago and explained that he was a little frustrated with how slow some of these scheduling talks for non-conference games were going because you still had Pac-12 and Big Ten teams and ACC teams, obviously, playing non-conference games against the SEC. This was supposed to be these guys against the SEC, right? And instead, what you have is not necessarily infighting, but you do have the Big Ten who decided to take two schools from the Pac-12. And yes, we're going to get to the move and all that, why it happened, but I I do think another part of this is you are now going to have less of a Rose Bowl stranglehold on the CFP, right? That's one thing that had always been talked about, the sanctity of the bowls and the sanctity of da-da-da. There is no sanctity in this sport anymore. This thing is done. It's all money grabs. It is a Fox conference and an ESPN conference, and it ain't done. This is not finished by any stretch of the imagination. So the Rose Bowl stranglehold on the CFP, I think, is done because you will not have a Pac-12, and a Big Ten bowl game. This will not be a contract bowl anymore. They will find a way to end this because USC and UCLA are now out with that bunch out east, or I guess in the Midwest, whatever you want to call it. But this is, I mean, the ramifications of this are massive. It feels like it's bigger than the Oklahoma-Texas move to the SEC, right? Like, and maybe I'm the only one that feels like this, but this is the first time that you are going to see a full America. Like, we, we did have it with Conference USA. I understand that. The AAC has done something similar. But when you have teams that are all the way on the East Coast and all the way on the West Coast, LA all the way to Piscataway, that's, that's massive. And trying to figure out... We could have probably seen this coming because... Front office sports, I mean, talked about it. Uh, The Big 12, excuse me, the Big 10, I'm going to get all these conferences right eventually. Uh, By the time they're all gone is when I'll have it all done. But the Big 10 media rights deal was supposed to come out sometime around Memorial Day, and it never popped up. Remember, Fox owns a big portion of the Big 10 network. They had a big group of meetings with all these streaming platforms and network uh, partners, etc., CBS, NBC, ESPN, Apple TV, uh, it, you, whoever else, right? Just throw it out there. Amazon, I think, was another big one. Um, they had all these meetings because Fox was going to also uh, partner with these other network providers, and the Big Ten was just going to be an all-day event. And now it certainly will be an all-day event because you've got games that can go early Saturday, and then you've got your afternoon, and then you've got your primetime game, and then you've got your 10 p.m. games. That'll be out on the West Coast. So Big Ten schools and those players are going to have to learn to figure out uh, 9 a.m. body clock games for for USC and UCLA, and then the ones that are all the way out east, Rutgers, Maryland, etc., those teams are going to have to figure out how to play at you know, 10 p.m. Central Time, 11 p.m. Eastern. Like, it, it's going to be nuts, I'm telling you. 
Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.